Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm really just going to be having a discussion with you guys. I'm going to be talking to you guys about what console and or PC you're going to be getting GTA 5 for the next generation on. So Rockstar announced a few days ago all the cool different things that returning players were going to be getting on either a PS4 and Xbox One or PC. And I just wanted to kind of do another video talking about what system you guys are thinking about getting GTA 5 on. I'll give you guys my answer. And in the comment section down below, I want you to leave your answer as well as why you're getting it on that certain console or PC. So I'm in a pretty unique situation where I'm obviously a YouTuber and I'm going to try to live stream and play with you guys. So I'm, of course, going to be getting it on all three. And I want to talk about the benefits about all three of them as well. Some of the things they might offer and, of course, some of the subjective benefits for each one. So like I said, I'm getting it on all three, but Rockstar did mention that they're only allowing you to transfer your character over to one of these systems, whether it be a PC, a PS4, or an Xbox One. And I think I'm going to make a video tomorrow clarifying all the, you know, transferring questions that you guys have in terms of money, RP, your character stuff. So I think that's the video I'm going to do tomorrow. But for today's video, like I said, I'm just breaking down what console I'm going to be getting on, which in fact is all three. I'm getting it on the PS4, the Xbox One, and of course the PC when it comes out now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking but wait mr. boss the win you can only transfer one of your you know you can only transfer your only account to one of them so I'm actually gonna be choosing the ps4 for my main account the one I'm gonna be using on right now the mr. boss the win and that is for the reason that Rockstar games has chosen to partner with Sony and there's a potential for exclusive content to come to the PS4 early and as a youtuber I feel like I have an obligation to make the best content for you guys and if I don't make my main system on a PS4 I could miss out on the opportunity to you know create exclusive content for you guys that Rockstar might be doing on the Sony side as compared to the Microsoft side now, like I said, I am going to get this game for Xbox One as well. So I am going to be playing with you guys on the Xbox side as well. I'm going to be doing live streams on both the PS4 and the Xbox One side. And of course, when PC comes out, I'm going to be getting that for modding. Modding on the PC is going to be amazing. Also, it's going to look the best on the PC. So if you want to get the best visual and, you know, hardware performance, Grand Theft Auto 5 experience, it's definitely going to be on the PC side of things. So again, no one has a wrong answer. I'm pretty sure the comment section is going to turn into a giant console war. And when you get into a very heated topic, like what's your favorite console? And of course, what system are you going to be playing GTA on? I know there's going to be some crazy comments out there, but you really can't go wrong with any answer because really your choices and your answers are probably subjective. I know a lot of you guys might be choosing an Xbox one because that's where all your friends are or you're most comfortable, you know, with the Microsoft and Xbox system and it's hardware. And again, a lot of you guys might be choosing the PS4 because of the exclusivity stuff that Rockstar might be doing with Sony. And I know that's one of the main reasons for me. I I've always been really an Xbox guy, but when I see Rockstar having an opportunity like this to work with Sony, you know, there's always the potential for like an early DLC or to release something special on the PS4 that doesn't make its way to the Xbox One. So I'm just trying to cover my grounds there in terms of what console I'm making a selection for. And of course, I'm going to be getting the game on PC for all the modding and great enhancements like that. So I don't miss out on all the cool things that GTA 5 is going to have to offer on the PC. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How will you be revisiting Los Santos on the next generation and in PC? If you only had one choice, what would you do it on PS4, Xbox One, or PC? Or if you're going to be getting it on multiple, I know a lot of guys have a really good gaming PC and like console. That's cool. You know, there is no, I guess, master race of choice here. It's all about your personal preference. So if you like PC, you like PC. If you like the consoles, you like the consoles. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I've told you a little bit about what my selection Selection is going to be I'm going to be playing on all three I love GTA 5 so much so I can't wait to experience it on all consoles and getting to play with all of you guys so it's really going to be a great next few months starting in November which of course is right around the corner and it's going to be awesome and I can't wait to get my hands on next gen GTA PC again right around the corner after that so it's going to be like I said a great few weeks to be a gamer and of course a fan of Grand Theft Auto 5 so let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below of course I think it's going to get heated try to keep it friendly I'm going to be talking to you guys in there as well be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and also be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this with all the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video